Alright guys, so welcome to another video. Today is about Substance Painter 1.7.0. I absolutely am being so happy with the way Substance Painter is turning out. So today we're going to talk about what they added new in this um, version here. And we're just going to transform this. And we're going to try to stretch this to screen. There we go. Sorry about that. All right, so the first thing they added was the ability to assign a different shader per texture set. What? How is that even? Look, PBR, PBR, PBR with alpha. So let's go with PBR with alpha. And you could set this one to new shader instance. Oh, that's Hans's face. So where do we... Okay, so I'm guessing... How do you do this one? Alright, so the new shader is the PBR copy. Hans's face is okay. You know, it's nothing really that impressive. Um, he's got scars and stuff. Mm. Mm. The scars are pretty bad. I'm gonna jack that up to 2k. Eh, a little better. His skin's not as realistic as, as you know, I, I would be hoping. So we're gonna go with skin and, um. I. I hmm. So let's add a new layer. Oh. Ha. Eh. 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 No. No. I, th that's too small. Too big. Let's try. Yeah, let's try next skin instead. Um, so this new ability to apply shaders uh, with each texture set is actually pretty cool. And I don't think that's how skin is supposed to look. And then let's be honest, that's horrible looking. Anyway, um, being able to create your own project templates. So how do you do that? save as a template that works yeah painting enhancements improve precision thanks to an update of the brush engine uh, better handling of sub pixel painting filtering for stamping and AA when painting sharp strokes and patterns okay that's pretty nifty uh, new content car paint shader alright where's where do they keep the shaders at post effects so we got material here um, what's this one ah car paint you know what car paint actually makes Hans look a little bit better than it did before not bad um, the dota shader so we're gonna click on the dota shader next okay so this is uh, PBR coded Where's the Dota shader? That one. Oh. Well then. Now Hans looks completely, um... Interesting. So you're able to apply those shaders into it to each individual part of him. So we're gonna go to the helmet. That's actually gonna stay metal. Let's do his body up in, um... In the Dota shader. Yeah, that's one very, very ugly shader. I'm gonna switch that to uh, Car Paint instead. Mm hmm. 
that suits him a lot better as well. Not bad. All right, so you have a vertex, uh, a velvet shader. All right, one last one then. Velvet shader right here. Not bad. Uh, bake lighting filter allows to bake lighting information on your base color diffuse and new mass generators. Light position and 3D distance. You have no idea who is this one? No idea. Anyway, I'm going to put everything for this update below. There's also going to be a tutorial included for this update on the, the site that I'm linking. And thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye.